Growing older is something that scares all of us. You either get set in your ways and turn old, or you become creepy guy. So, Y'all wanna go drinking later? I like smoking sticky stuff. Or you end up getting Alzheimer's disease. My grandma has Alzheimer's now. Everyone thinks it's so sad. Your grandma's getting worse. She's getting worse. But getting Alzheimer's is like a 24-7 acid trip. And for the most part, she's always on a good trip. She either thinks that she's at a Billy Graham crusade or a water park. She just sits and hallucinates TV preachers in her living room all day. She has a blast. What time does the Billy Graham crusade start? She's just sitting on the couch hallucinating. I feel like Nanny from the Muppet Babies when I walk in on her little adventures. I want to go down the water slide, but I don't want to miss Billy speak. She's like a little child. I have to walk behind her and hold her hands while she goes exploring. Like, don't, don't let her get a hold of those Legos, okay? She'll put them in her mouth. These things should say 93 and below on them. She's got the imagination of a Muppet baby. I've seen her have one bad trip. Alzheimer's is kind of like drugs. You do have a bad trip every now and then. Like one time I walked in the house and she was just sitting on the television. What are you doing? That couch trying to eat me. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go grab some butterscotch out of your jar. For those of you who don't get that reference, butterscotch is like the ultimate grandma candy. It's what they grew up eating during the Great Depression. That's all they ate. That's why they had those super sad faces in all the photographs. No one smiled. That's why grandma candy is always stale, because they've been saving it since the 30s. That's because they ate like three square meals of butterscotch a day. Kids get dressed! Daddy couldn't shoot a rabbit tonight, so we're having butterscotch again. Butterscotch again? Oh, hickory smoke, Paul! Dash hounds and smoke dust! Ah! That's my portrait of a family during the Great Depression. I hope it's accurate. My grandpa is losing his mind, too. He's so old. He looks like a shriveled sponge that was just left out in heat. He knows I want to be a comedian. So when I go home, he just rents this whole stack of vaudeville videos to try to inspire me. Stuff that isn't even relevant anymore, like old Abbott and Costello videos. Ah! It's just the universal sound of excitement whenever you're old. It doesn't matter whether you're laughing, dying, or crying. Just, ah! Ah! Old people always do that grabbing motion when they get older. Like they're reaching for their thoughts. Ah, get back here! Every time I go over there, he always turns on some vaudeville video. Watch this on the TV! Do this on stage, boy! The other day, 30 geese went on my porch. I said, what kind of geese are those? Are those Portuguese? See that girl over there? She's got triangle boobies. I want to touch him, but I don't want to get stigmata. Zoinks. I feel sorry for a lot of those old comedians. They all developed drug habits. But is it any wonder? Did you ever see those old video advertisements for him? It's Kipster Davis! You've got like this poor 50 year old man burning his hand on a stove. Ah! It looks like he really just burnt his hand on the stove. Ah! Tom Foolery at its finest. You should do things like that. You should do blackface. Grandpa, that's offensive. You're so old. That's hilarious. He hasn't left his house since water fountains were segregated. Really anti-progressive guy. Just walks around the house cursing the women's suffrage. You know who's a real tramp? Susan B. Anthony. I wish that old, uh, old bat would just shut up. He's so old. Never leaves the house. Just reads the same newspaper from 1930 over and over. It's got coffee and blood stains from World War I on it. They need to impeach Herbert Hoover. He's got people on the street. Living in boxes. They call them Hoovervilles! My family just nods their head like he's not totally crazy. I'm gonna go microwave a toaster. Mom, stop him. Just let him do it, honey. Yeah, you're right. 
I don't want to change his diapers anymore either. 